Uh, so the topic that we're gonna see today is about on mutation and plant breeding. Okay. So for those people who have taken agriculture as your optional subject for UPSC as well as uh, for Indian Forest Service, uh, they need to first master this topic. That is the main topic is plant breeding. Okay. So among the main uh, plant breeding topics, the most essential one is uh, mutation. Okay. So almost every year that you will get some topics uh, indefinitely from this mutation. Okay. Last year they've got some uh, two to three main topics from this. Uh, so uh, so mutation okay so mutation according to the scientific term it's actually a sudden and heritable change in the character of an organism okay so it is like an alteration in the uh, structure of a gene uh, that gives rise to this changes it does not rise due to any segregations or recombination okay so the next thing is a uh, mutation breeding okay the genetic improvement of crop plants for various characters through the use of any induced mutation that is always mutation breeding is through induced only okay that is uh, it's always man induced right so some most important terminology when related to mutations are like uh, when the mutant character shows cytoplasmic or extra nuclear inheritance it is known as cytoplasmic or plasma gene mutation okay so the mutant character it gets varied uh, extra nuclearly so the another term bud mutations or somatic mutation is used uh, it is to denote the you know, mutations that is occurring in the buds or somatic tissues which are used for propagation example in such clonal crops etc okay so the next topic is point or gene mutation uh, mutation that is produced mainly by the changes in the base sequence of the genes um, as a result of a base pair transition or transversion or deletion or duplication or inversion etc or inversion etc so this is called as point or gene mutation so the next uh, mutation is macro mutation okay so macro mutation is nothing but uh, a mutation which produces a large phenotypic effect uh, recognizable on the individual plant basis obviously such mutations are oligogenic in nature and can be easily selected in uh, in the m2 generation okay so uh, so contrast to that uh, it's a micro mutation so this micro mutation has very small phenotypic effect that cannot be recognized because since the uh, mutation occurring at a micro level okay it is not recognized on individual plant basis it can be detected only in a group of plants so obviously macro mutations are polygenic because uh, there is an evident of large phenotypic uh, difference when compared to uh, this micro mutation okay we have seen the uh, most important mutations in the before slides so uh, the overall types of mutations have been uh, tabulated here actually okay so based upon the direction that is the first mutation is uh, forward uh, mutation as well as a reverse mutation okay so the example of the forward mutation is when uh, wild plants grows into domestic plants it is called as forward mutation okay so when you want to uh, bring back the wild forms from the domestic forms then it is termed as reverse mutation okay and then uh, when the mutations occurs on the tissue level it is uh, there are two types there are somatic as well as uh, germinal okay somatic you all know that uh, somatic means uh, body cell okay somatic means body cell okay um, that is a uh, uh, mutation may occur at the leaves uh, mutation may occur at the stem uh, roots etc whereas germinal is always concerned with the uh, reproduction okay so it always uh, it always occurs at the level of uh, anther uh, stigma pollen grains etc okay so sites so we have earlier seen that uh, cytoplasmic mutation okay so that, that is mutation occurring at uh, the extra nuclear level is called as cytoplasmic mutation contrast to that there will have a nuclear mutation character character is uh, the mutation which uh, produces any morphological changes uh, it is called as morphological mutation and uh, when it uh, occurs at the level of biochemically uh, that is uh, when it alters with the enzymes and all then it is termed as a biochemical mutation so visibility we have already seen macro mutation micro mutation and uh, based upon the source of the mutation that is how you make this mutation to occur we have two types that is spontaneous and induced spontaneous is actually a nature that is nature induced mutation that is you don't need any uh, any other extra mutational agent to uh, happen that process whereas an induced mutation is always man made okay Uh, since uh, spontaneous mutations have any no significance uh, with the uh, plant breeding uh, induced mutation uh, is very essential because it is mainly concerned with the plant breeding techniques 
so mutations may be artificially induced by a treatment with certain physical or chemical agents okay such mutations are known as induced mutation that is it is very obvious from the uh, term induced itself and the agents used for producing them are called as mutagens okay uh, the utilization of this induced mutations for crop improvement is ultimately called as mutation breeding uh, mutation may be induced by uh, two types of things that is first thing is ionizing radiation and the next thing is chemical agents okay uh, so ionizing radiation uh, you all know that uh, there are various kinds of ionizing radiation of all the important ionizing radiation x-rays plays a dominant role okay um, because uh, the mode of actions is given here that is that is induced mutation by forming free radicals and ions it causes addition deletion transition and a transversion and there you have gamma rays okay it has very high penetrating and it is a non particulate and it's a non particulate i induce mutation by ejecting atoms from the tissues and it causes addition deletion transition and transversion then there you have alpha particles um, it is actually a particle which is less penetrating and it is uh, positively charged if everyone know that uh, tagged by ionization and excitation process it causes chromosomal and gene mutation okay whereas the about two causes uh, uh, addition deletion transition and transversion etc okay then we have that fast and thermal neutrons uh, uh, there are particles uh, from the term itself you know that they are neutrally charged they are also highly penetrating okay they cause chromosomal breakage and gene mutation okay then we will have finally ultraviolet rays they are non ionizing low penetrating etc they cause a chromosomal breakage and a gene mutations so after going through the ionizing radiations we have a chemical agents okay so uh, we don't need to remember all the things and all okay so just know what are the chemical agents that are used for mutation that is alkylating agents etc then a base analog such as uh, bromouracil 2 amino purine and acridin dyes like uh, acriflavin and proflavin uh, they cause frame shift mutation that is additional deletion of nucleotides okay uh, then uh, others such as nitrous acid uh, um, hydroxyl amine and sodium azide like uh, guanine cytosine adenine thiamine transition etc okay so having been known the basics of the mutation terminologies we will enter into the main topic that is mutation breeding okay so as i said earlier that uh, mutation breeding is nothing but it is a utilization of the induced mutation for crop improvement okay so as with any other procedure we will have some uh, basic steps involved in mutation breeding as well uh, since mutation is a novel technique uh, um, we need to give a valid reason of why you are conducting this program actually so the objective of the program should be clearly mentioned okay and also which variety of the plant that you also gonna use obviously it's going to be the best variety that is available in the market and you need to and you also need to know which part of the plant should be treated and also you should also give the amount of uh, dosages that is uh, used in the plants and then uh, the, the fifth point is uh, you, you should need to decide which uh, mutagen is, uh, is taken for this process whether you're going with ionizing radiations or chemical radiation so the difference between them is if you are going to irradiate the plants they are going to immediately planted to give rise to m1 okay whereas in chemical uh, the, the seeds are actually pre-soaked and then they are exposed to desired mutagen okay so in the final step is uh, how you're going to handle this mutagen treated population so uh, giving these uh, six steps uh, you are into the main topic So uh, the next is the procedure of uh, mutation breeding. Okay, so mutation breeding process is mainly consists of four steps. The first step is obviously the choice of the material used. As I said earlier, the best adopted variety of a crop should be used. Okay, because it, it consists of all the acceptable agronomic features. And then is choice of muta mutagen. As I said uh, earlier, we have two types of uh, mutagenic agent. Uh, one is uh, irradiation, and other one is uh, chemical mutagens. Okay, so the plant parts. Uh, so depending upon the plant parts that is going to be treated um, uh, we're gonna choose whether it is going to be chemical mutagens or uh, radiation so if it is for seeds then uh, it is chemical mutagen that is chemical mutagens are more preferred for seed treatment whereas uh, radiation uh, is used for uh, vegetative parts okay so the third step is mutagenic treatment okay so the procedure of mutagenic treatment takes three things into account one is 
what kind of plant species is being used and how much amount of dose of mitogen is being used and how long the duration of the treatment is undergoing okay so you you obviously know that in seed propagated species the seeds are generally treated whereas in vegetatively propagated species but suckers or cuttings are used for mitogen treatment okay so before going on to the next step i need to ensure something about ld50 okay so this term is actually nothing but it is refers to the dose of mutagen that kills 50% of the treated individuals okay it's like actually the lethal dose so the duration of the treatment should always depends upon the intensity of the radiation that is more the radiation more the intensity of the radiation lesser the duration uh, as well as the concentration of the chemical uh, mutagens the fourth thing is uh, handling of the mutagen treated population so after being treated with the mutagens uh, uh, the seeds and the vegetative propagules produce a produce a uh, unstable structure that is called as chimeras so chimeras uh, what is chimera is actually an individual with one genotype in one of its part another genotype and some other parts okay so this is an individual okay so you have one genotype separately here another genotype separately here and one more genotype separately here so it will have three different types actually three different types of genotype that is available in a single individual so actually this topic is not very much essential uh, because it, it deals with chimeras okay so for those you need to know about chimeras you can have a little glance over this okay so the shoot tip meristem usually has three functional layers that is uh, l1 l2 and l3 okay l1 always give rise to epidermis l2 produce l2 is actually the major part uh, of the leaf mesophyll and the gametes okay so it is very much concerned with the sexual reproduction l3 yields the rest of the plant body okay so when whole of the l1 l2 l3 layer is affected the chimera is known as periclimal chimera whereas if it occurs only on a part of l1 l2 l3 it is called as sectorial chimera okay so in sexually reproducing species only the l2 chimera is involved because l2 produces a part of leaf mesophylls and gametes so it is very understood okay so uh, so in clonal crops however all chimeras can be utilized that is uh, you need to produce a clonal crop that is all l1 l2 l3 can be uh, mutated okay Uh, so the application of the mutation breeding is very much important as it is asked in almost all the exams okay so uh, the main reason why mutation breeding is applied is to improve the morphological and physiological characters and gives the plant some disease resistance and uh, quantitative characters including a yielding ability okay so the first step is always induction of desirable mutant allele okay that is the reason why uh, mutation breeding is being practiced and then uh, to improve some specific character of the variety without change in the genetic makeup this word is very important okay it's just giving uh, it just adds up some specific character of a variety without changing in the genetic makeup and then um, improving various uh, quantitative character especially yield okay yield of the plant can be increased uh, substantially by uh, mutation breeding okay and then you can also induce male sterility okay so these things will be dealt uh, detailed uh, in uh, later topics and then um, production of haploids by irradiating pollens and then uh, overcoming self incompatibility so if you remember these six word then you can almost uh, make up the entire uh, um, question uh, having seen the applications of the uh, mutation plant breeding there are some limitations that it also poses the first thing is low frequency of the desired gene okay the gene that we desire is actually in very very low frequency and next thing is uh, we need to screen large number of population and this wholesome process is exhaustive okay and then uh, it always produce pleiotropic effects pleiotropic pleiotropism is actually one gene expressing two or more unrelated effects which is actually a major limitation of mutation and then uh, most of the mutation uh, will always yield recessive uh, allele okay uh, recessive allele and then uh, identification of the micro mutation and all is very very difficult which also poses a strong limitation for a uh, mutation uh, and then undesirable side effect uh, due to other mutation uh, such as uh, and also some chromosomal aberrations and finally uh, even if you successfully uh, mutated a plant the problem of getting registered in the society is very very difficult due to the stringent laws that has been imposed on the indian society okay 
so that is uh, that is whole uh, the entire thing about mutation uh, mutation uh, the plant breeding techniques uh, its application and limitation okay